Welcome back. We're in for the long haul here. Just continuing our Terran campaign. Last we left off, um, we had the big push and then a cinematic on open rebellion. So there's a strife within the Terran forces. I actually don't recall the reason why. I know there's the Sons of Korhal, then there's the Confederacy. And the Confederacy is using alien life forms, the Zerg, as their own little experiment. But I don't recall all the details. Basically, the Sons of Korhal have got to be the good guys here and are trying to save humanity. At least that seems obvious. Are we above, like, Tarsonis here? Is that right? Like a beacon, the combined power of the Psy emitters l reached out to the far corners of the Terran sector, luring billions of Zerg to the capital world of Tarsonis. The Zerg, overrunning the Confederacy's best defenses, proceeded to lay waste to Tarsona's major cities and industrial centers. New Gettysburg. Command ship Hyperion, holding close orbit over Confederate city, whatever, capital city. What? You sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. <sighs> I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. Well, all right, objectives. Destroy the Protoss force. All Zerg buildings must survive. Kerrigan must survive. So you can see the difficulties ramped up a bit since uh, the last time we did a mission here. Um, the Terran nuclear silo is an add-on to the command center to launch a nuclear attack, build a nuclear missile at the silo, and use a ghost unit to designate a target. Good to know. I'm putting my odds on passing this somewhere around 20% because I haven't played this game in about a year and when I last played it, well I've never beaten this mission without cheating, so um, this is going to be challenging. I hate to make noise, but I don't want this to be muted either. Hmm. Um Oh, I can't like right click to build things. That's kind of okay. Um let's see. You guys go Wait, is that a tank? No, that's a dropship. Um Uh oh, here's some minerals. Cool. All right. Not enough minerals. Probably should have focused on the mineral thing first. Amateur mistake. They say all Zerg buildings must survive. I hope that nothing on the map is time activated, or I am just doomed. Okay, let's set a rally point over there. 
if only because that helps us, um, I don't know, keep track of our flow of units. Um, alright, so I probably want to increase my... Well, how large is the space? We have just that one little mineral patch, and that's it. And I have to explore about the map. Um, the edges of this window are too... Wait, how do I get to the... Oh, there's the menu. Um, speed, scroll speed is too fast. Um, <laughs> I actually want to increase my mouse sensitivity if I can. Okay, that's a little bit better. And mouse scroll, whatever. Okay. What's this thing about use mouse scaling? Uh, I've never used this. What? Oops. Um, speed. Use mouse scaling? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm throwing my cursor all the way across the screen now. Um, uh, yeah, that's not what I was looking for. Okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep building some more units. Not enough minerals. Um, actually, six is probably enough to... Well, how many minerals are there? There are thousands of minerals, but that's going to deplete pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, having two guys harvesting, harvesting gas and four guys collecting minerals is probably a decent balance. Um, I guess I do need to check the map at some point, so we've got... Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, well, well. It turned out better than it should have. Um, let's just build some add-ons while I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I should be doing. Um... I mean, I know I should be exploring the map. That's kind of a given, but I don't know a good way to go about that. Um, oh, control click selects all units of a given type. Shift click adds to a thing. Control one, I think, saves a group. There we go. So I can use one and then dispatch these guys um, to go exploring a bit. Back here, guys. Well, it seems we're surrounded on that side. Is that also the case here? Yep, that looks like creep up there. How about over here? Oh, that's no good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The Zerg must survive. Well, okay, that's no good, then. Um, don't want to make war with these guys, but we don't want them to come in and destroy everything, either. Man, if I could just, like, offer an alliance to the Zerg, that would be kind of cool. Um, too bad they probably wouldn't understand what that's about. Let me guess, there's Zerg up here? Okay, yeah, there are, but that's not the focus. How about what's down What's down here? Oh, I guess Kerrigan could be exploring the map pretty safely, right? Alright, so there's a little mineral patch once I've mined my original base. Um... Nice. Okay, is there anything else down here? Should I build a second base? It seems pretty safe, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead. Well, yeah. No reason to delay. Here you go down here. 
and build us a command center. Although that's going to cost 400, but by the time you get down there, we might have the minerals to do it. So. Meanwhile, we'll do a little bit of forward scouting, see if we can find anything. I'm curious if in uh, the re-release... Oh, shit, 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 Okay. Alright. Truce, guys. Um, okay. And so, do I have any idle units here? I have more of Vespian gas than I know what to do with, so you're actually going to go mine some minerals. You will soon build us a command center. It says 280. Jeez. Come on, we're going to get 400 sometime soon. But as long as these guys... Yeah, okay. You actually are going to go fix the vulture, just so I don't lose my vulture. Um, it'd be a shame to lose a vulture so early because they're kind of expensive. Although they are expensive to repair too. Oh, we don't have spider mines. Um, oops. Looks like we lost some. That's not good. That's not good. Um. Okay. Siege tank. Well, what does it take to do a siege? Oh, we can afford to do siege tanks. Um, let's wait until we get our second base built, which is kind of contra how you would normally do things. But okay. Um. Whoops. Okay, you go do your thing, and then go mine some minerals. And if I were ever to have to do this mission again, I'd say nix the Vespin gas altogether. Um, at least for a considerable period of time. Alright, so you guys just hold your position there. You, Kerrigan, are going to join our forces over here. This is going to be a little bit of a slow start. Thankfully, it seems that there aren't any timed things going on in this map. Uh, actually, do I have a... No, I don't have a academy and a commsat station. Also, I've got a dropship. I should just be using that to look around a bit. Or drop units, which would be faster than walking around the map. But... Okay, you guys, you know how to hold a position, you know how to cloak, and take a look around. We've got 250 energy units. There we go. Man, these units don't run very quickly, at least not yet. Oh, is your base north of here? Thanks for the information. You gotta take out all these damn scouts. Or zealots. Um, man, this could take a while at this rate. I'm sure there's a better way to do all this. Like, luring these guys into your own units. And then just shooting them up that way. Um, but yeah, it's good to scout the area before sending all my units forward. I'm surprised they don't just make a run for it, you know? 
Come on. What's your hit points like? Okay, there we go. That's more like it. We're gonna make Kerrigan Group 2 all by herself. Now, surely there's a detector somewhere on this map. For some reason, I seem to remember, like, later missions of this game being extremely difficult. And maybe that's just a matter of perception. Maybe they weren't actually that difficult and I just overcomplicated things a lot. That certainly could have happened. Um. Okay. Okay, there's a photon cannon. We're gonna nope the heck away from that. Um, is there a weak spot somewhere over here? There's a building. No detector there. Uh, strange. Okay. Base is under attack, you say? Really? Not cool, guys. Okay. Yeah, but the Zerg are kind of instigating something. Can't let that go ignored. Alright, so let's get back to group one. Where the heck is group one? Alright, you go and meet up with them again. You're gonna build us a command center. Right there. Alright. Um. Alright, so give Kerrigan some time to relax a bit. Um, yeah, Lieutenant Kerrigan and company fall back. Alright, um, we actually have enough minerals to do stuff now. Um, we're going to build us a bunker right over here somewhere. Unfortunately, that seems to be the best place for it. Oh, really? Alright, so we're going to need a few more infantry just to secure the spot. Uh, orders, get back to mining. You're not going to build us a bunker. Oh, you did repair the supply depot, though, so that was a good move. Also, is this built yet? No, it's not yet built. Alright. Is this built yet? Yes, it is. I forgot. Bunkers can lift off? No, bunkers just load. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, just hang loose in the bunker. Don't do anything stupid. Might be okay to do things I wouldn't do, as long as it's not too, anything too dumb. Um, Alright. Set the rally point over here somewhere. Okay, how's Kerrigan doing? Oh, it's going to take Karen again a while to recharge. Uh, I should consider building an add-on to this. So, this requires a science facility with attached covert ops uh, to build a nuclear silo. Okay. Um, this is going to require a ton of material or minerals. Uh, academy. 
Science facility requires a starport. Um, there's the academy. Oops. Well, no, there's actually space to expand there. Okay. Oh, we've got 44 capacity. When did that happen? I thought we were 24 capacity. This gives me a lot more freedom to build units without having to worry about building bunkers and having issues with mineral count. Uh, also, yeah, I've I greatly underestimated um, my supply. So since I can do supply for such a large army, I definitely should. Okay. Um, go collect some of that. And then over here. Okay, we're at 177. Okay. Basically, I think a nuclear strike is probably my best option here. It might be a bit expensive to uh, operate, but... Wait. Uh, so this requires a science facility with attached covert ops. That's not a science facility, it's an academy. That said, that could still be useful. Um, science facility requires a starport. Really? Okay. Um, this is getting pretty expensive. But okay. Um, sure, let's increase our attack range, just in case that proves useful. It often does. Um... You do nothing, sergeant. Or, not sergeant, but... How do you say that? Recruit? You do nothing, recruit. Go collect some minerals. Okay. Um... Also, I greatly underestimated how many minerals are in a patch. Oh, wow, that's a huge chain of blue all right next to each other. Still, I'm thinking that before I send all my units... Well... I don't know. It seems like I could insulate myself fairly well, fairly safely. How's this doing? How's our starport going? I'm thinking of building a missile turret somewhere around here. Actually, behind the mineral field would make the most sense. Um, just in case Protoss do have any aircraft. It wouldn't do for them to just completely nuke my second base. Okay, that requires an engineering bay, which honestly we probably should have built in the first place. So let's build one of those. Um, now, we were saying... A control tower allows us to scout out the area, right? Um, honestly, it doesn't really matter where the starport's located. It might be better if it's not in the way of all the minerals. Um, okay, so... Oh, you guys. You guys. Orders, Captain. Orders, Captain. You have the nerve to orders, Captain, me. Fine. You have your orders. Um, here. Let's build the commsat station. Um. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your forces are under attack. Where? Surely my forces didn't go headfirst into battle. It's not those guys. Who the crap was. Oh. Really? This is too much to worry about. It's not the. I should watch the mini map better, but. Like, I don't see anything on the mini map. What is this violence that's going on? 
I have no idea. I do know what I can do about it, though. Where the crap is that going on? Oh, not cool, dude. Did I just lose all my SCVs? Damn you. This way. This way. Just keep following. Shit. Why'd you do that? Really? Okay, fine. We'll build up some defenses. This really shouldn't be necessary, but... Oh, crap. Set a rally point for the bunker. Um, you go back to mining minerals. And we're going to set a rally point over here or something. And get a better idea of what's up here. Okay. I mean, yes, all the Zerg buildings are to survive, which kind of complicates my mission. Um, let's see where... Here, you're gonna build us another missile turret somewhere about here ish. And we're gonna build one more um, bunker down here. This is terrifically wasteful. Not the best use of resources, but. Um, yeah, let's put it not between the base and the mineral field, but. Somewhere around here. Okay, and you go continue mining stuff. Rally point somewhere in the middle. Okay. Okay, we've got a bunker that's loaded up, so we're going to set a rally point here now. You step back and... Alright, so this should better insulate me against all kinds of crap that could come my way here. Um, yeah, I was really confused where a combat was going on. Turns out it was just me losing my SCVs. Um, which is great, you know? You have to make this a bit more exciting somehow. So... Wait, so we built some structures. This guy built some structures. He should build us another structure so we can finally build a science facility. Let's build that in this safe little corner of the map. Um, meanwhile, I'll have one of these guys start to build stuff to defend my stuff. Um, Alright. So how are we doing on... Wait, where did all my guys go? They're not around this bunker or that bunker. I guess I just didn't construct enough marines. Okay, so you guys are going to go rally around this bunker. You guys are going to stop being lazy and actually do stuff. You, likewise, um, could use some more Vespian gas, I guess. Alright, we have stuff built. I mean, yes, I could build wraiths. Wraiths can travel the map quite quickly and scout stuff, so... Oh! Yep, that's the downside. 
Okay, you're gonna build us a missile turret. I freaked out when I saw that there. I thought that was an opponent. I'm glad to see that's not the case. Um, research cloaking field for raids. Ay, ay, ay. My raids are so good, they don't need cloaking. Maybe. Probably not. It's probably untrue. They probably actually do need cloaking. So, there we go. Um. Alright. Oh, wait. Job's finished? Alright, so go back to stuff there. Uh, how are we doing? You guys three there, one more. Okay. Okay, so number four, go over here. Alright, we're gonna set our rally point down here. <laughs> um, yeah, right there. Oh, nice. You kind of camouflage with the building, honestly, so we're going to set a rally point over here. Um, what are you doing, Mr. SCV? Are you confused? Alright, so I think that's fine. Um, wait, have we got research underway? Yes, we do. Um, we got cloaking research underway. We've got more uh, Terrans being or more Marines being generated I can scout the map again let's scout down here get an idea of what our end game looks like okay yeah, so they've got a shuttle they've got some jeez this is gonna take a while even with cloaking um, shit. <laughs> so the nuke's going to be useful by the time we get all the way down there, but there's so many buildings in the way first. Um, that said, it doesn't seem like they're producing a large strike force. So... Um, I just remember what I was going to do. Let's build a supply depot or ten. Where's a slab ply depot? Here we are. Build this. Um. Nice. It's good when things work. Really? What the heck's this about? Maybe there are timed events, or I don't know what else could be triggering this. Um, let's build up our infantry armor. Maybe by the time that hits, we'll be ready. Do we have cloaking? Yes, we do. Um, plus 50, what's how, our energy limit is 200, so we don't even start at 200. Wait, I, I only have one of those? I thought I tried to build two. Maybe I did, maybe I did not successfully build a second one. Um, in any event, here's our rally point, you go in the bunker. Uh, actually, you four step down here. You four are relieved of your bunker duties and get to join our lovely, lovely strike force. Okay. Not you, SCV. Back to duty. Alright, so... You four who have seen combat get to come back here. Uh, henceforth, you plus these guys are known as Group 1. Um... Is that the guy who needed repair? No, this guy is. 
Okay, go fix this. Um, that's cool. Alright. So... Yep, yep, yep. Go back. Is there anything else I can upgrade while I'm at it? Um, a Comsat station. I forget what this is for. Uh, I don't exactly have room for it here. Um, oh. So since I'm in the middle of an upgrade, I can't do that. Um, yeah, I guess we're not building that right there. Can we sweep again? Alright, um, what more should I know? Is there anything else I should know about this area? Ha! <laughs> Big exposed mineral patch. That's convenient. It also means I can drop ship across the gap, because there's nothing there to stop me. So, let's get our drop ship wherever I put that, which was right over here. Um... And I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, honestly. I kind of want to just start by putting a missile turret down in the corner and then um, troop my guys in. Although, I'm not sure the missile turret's going to make much of a difference. Um, certainly being able to cross the gap in a speedy manner is a useful thing. Okay, here's the compromise. Compromise is we're going to, instead of building a missile turret on the other side of the gap, we're going to build it right over here. Somewhere convenient for me. Um, that way if I need to jump across the gap, I'll be safe upon my return. Even though it's really not a long walk. But this will at least be my first defense against a surprise attack. Um, okay, we're going to rally right here. I don't need that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Build us another supply depot. We're going to need more supply. Um, sure, put it somewhere up here, I guess. No, not right there. That looks clumsy. Let's put it here. There we go. Okay, job's finished, you say? So, there we go. Um, Alright. So, wraiths move quickly, right? Yes. Are these guys both... Um, yeah, they have 200. Well, this guy will have 200 soon. So, let's see. How many units fit into a dropship? One, two, three, four. Kerrigan over here. Oh. Alright, destination. Hmm. Possibly not my wisest. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, HQ. You are going to be control unit number three. Um, hanging out just in this little corner. Hang on, we're in for some job. In transit, HQ. Just a bit nervous about releasing. Oh shit. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Kerrigan's not cloaked. But could be. Just walk along this edge here. Let's cloak. We can afford it.
Okay, this left side is completely defenseless. Back to base, sir. <laughs> okay, you group one. Oh, wow. Well, okay, these guys are much stronger than I anticipated. Jeez. Okay. Well, cloaking was a good idea, but... Um... Group 1 didn't quite work out so well, did it? I had no idea just how strong those units, those ground units were. Um. Alright, so yeah, you go hunt this guy. Um, I need another plan. Because I can't just have Kerrigan sniping these guys all day, it'll take forever. No, 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 no. Do not go into the base. Okay, fine, whatever. We're gonna take the long walk of shame back home. You go repair the bunker. You all check out... Oh, shit. Really? Really? Okay, where's my raids? Do I not have raids? This is going poorly. I am so embarrassed. I need to restart this mission. We're going to try this again. This time... Oh, I think I finally got the hang of what's going on here. So... Alright. Um, so basically... I need to... Uh, be better at this game. So we're going to build bunkers in easier to defend locations. Um, and build more of them. Let's see, there's high ground here, right? Oh, hang on. Yeah, if that's... No, that's not safe high ground. That is unsafe ground. Alright, so, um, how do I make the best of this situation? I guess we build a bunker south of the base? And we need to build some missile turrets. Oh, I need to get more SCVs. We starve for minerals for a bit here while we're still building our bunker. Okay, we're gonna... Sorry, I'm... This is ridiculous, but... Okay, well, how I should start this is... Um, mine a ton of minerals. Recognizing that, that part of the map is unsafe. Recognizing we don't need Vespine gas at the start of this. Um, 
and actually I happen to have advanced knowledge of what a part of the map looks like. So we'll put a rally point down there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we need to be building SCVs and mining minerals and stuff. Okay, and you are going to go just explore this away. Oh, that's weird. There must be a creep colony nearby. Okay, that was a bit unwise given um, just how expensive it is to build a command center. Okay, yeah, you're just going to hang loose over here to the left of the base. Um, set a rally point down here so it's obvious where guys are being inactive. And I need to secure my southern wall here, like this choke point. That's what I should be doing. But everything costs minerals. And the first thing I actually kind of want would be a command center right there. And then we'll worry about securing this mess with something more permanent. Okay, sorry, it's been forever since I've played this. I'm not entirely, completely terribly bad at this, but not that great just yet. Um, also, I should build an engineering bay at some point so I can upgrade my weapons so they don't suck. So, but that also costs resources. Okay, we're going to rally right... Uh, to the left of the at barracks. You guys just hold your position. If anybody tries to trigger you to do stuff, don't do it. Just hold the position. Likewise, you guys hold your position. I'm just gonna be holding positions here. Alright. Um, oh, I do need an engineering bay at some point in order to be able to build missile turrets, I think. If I remember the tech tree at all. Um, but yeah, I should have maxed out it. Like, well, also the other thing is I should. Um, wait, hang on. We're gonna build one more SCV and then lift off and land right next to this. Because that makes a lot more sense. Um, this is going to speed up all the mineral collection. And honestly, should have been the first move in my opening foray here. Um, oops. Anyway. Oh, okay. You guys are all doing your thing. That's cool. Nice. Nice. Alright, that'll go so much faster. And be so much less embarrassing. Okay. Uh, I forget exactly how you got out there. But, cool beans. Here, you go take some minerals back. In fact, you hang out here. You go take minerals back to the main base. Just, I, I don't have anything better for you guys to do. Um, rally point's gonna be here-ish. Um, Alright, so I think that's maybe enough SCVs. We still haven't maxed out our supplies, so that gives us freedom to build other things. Um, so we're gonna build an engineering bay. This research takes forever to do. We'll just tuck that behind the mineral wall. That way it'll give us some advance notice if anybody comes within viewing distance of the bay. 
Um, I mean, in uh, PvP mode, you don't want to build your date, your expensive structures right behind a wall. Um, because that's the hardest point to defend on the map, but the computer's not going to assault that. Our little AI opponent is not going to mess with us here. Opponent is kind of a strong word. Um, it's more like a... I don't know what you'd even call it. It's an AI agent of sorts. Hmm. Um, build a machine shop. Oh! That's actually going to prove useful, because we're going to use tanks to take down um, our opponents. We're going to have a combination of tanks and infantry. Your forces are under attack. Okay, where are we under attack? I don't see it. Oh, shit. We're under attack. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Order's received. Yeah, run like heck, sir. <laughs> You're not going to make it. You will be remembered. Oh, you might make it. I didn't mean to trigger those guys, but apparently I accidentally did. So, whatever. Um, is this guy healed up yet? Not quite. Okay, looks like he's in better shape now. So you go back to doing what you're doing. Um, actually come over here. We need a missile turret somewhere. Why not here? Build a little wall. A little pleasant wall. Okay, and... We still have this guy here. Can he afford to build... A command center. And uh, that's as close as it can go. So that's good. Um, we will need more supply depots soon. But not this instant. Um, oh, we built this. Okay. Um, job's finished. Okay, you're referring to some other... The missile turret. Um, gonna build a bunker pretty close by. I mean, ideally you'd want to make some perfect wall so opponents couldn't walk right through your base, but, um, I think for purposes of fending off this side, um, having at least two bunkers right next to each other should discourage most, uh, one-off units from walking in this direction. Um, okay, at some point we will need siege tanks. Okay, job's finished. Referring to the bunker. One bunker's not enough. This time we're going to build two bunkers and fully populate them. And then build some bunkers and stuff to the north also. So, we're going to secure the front wall, the north wall, and the south wall of this um, facility. Is there a StarCraft winning bot yet? Funny you should ask. Unfortunately, I came about ten years too late to that particular contest. Um, I was interested in using... There was actually an API released for early versions of StarCraft, and I'm sure it works. I'm sure it's great and <gasps> excellent and lovely and wonderful and should be used by all means. Um, um, hang on. But yeah, there is certainly... Um, there's me multiple, many AIs um, that can all play this game and they're all, like, extremely strong at it. Um, let's see. How do I set my rally point? Here we are. R is rally point. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, but, yeah, my point is that, like, when the APIs are first released, I was very excited about that. Spent 
forever trying to get that to work with code I wrote, and I just couldn't get it. It was just too much somehow. I don't know what about my environment I just couldn't get working, but um, it was problematic. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely fortifying this stuff this time, so surprise attacks won't destroy me. Um, that said, that kind of delays my push by, we'll say, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? You guys get mining. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, it's probably enough over there. Um, the most interest. Uh, yes. Well, that's funny. Yeah, you're right. Data mining would be one way to try to solve the game. Um, turns out that simulations are relatively inexpensive to run. You can run AI versus AI matches and learn quite a bit from even something as primitive as that. So data mining of large amounts of data isn't, um, well, I'm sorry, no, the, the nature of what's being done, the challenge itself is of a simple enough nature that uh, it was not too difficult to guess very reasonable models for, oh, okay, how are we under, okay, good, 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 good. I actually secured the base this time uh, and didn't lose everything, so we're doing a lot better this time. Have I built an engineering bay yet? Yes, I have. No need to build a second one. Oh, okay. Um, insufficient Vespine gas. I wonder why that is. Uh, let's build... I know I should be using key shortcuts, by the way. Forgive me my ignorance. Um, we're having some fun here. I'm obviously a casual player of this game. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting if the game were challenging enough to require something like that. Um... Okay, you go repair the other SCV. It took me forever to figure out that SCPs can actually, or SCVs can repair each other. It was a huge discovery when I learned that. Um, okay, whoops. Well, okay. Yeah, very good. Cool. Alright, and then you guys go into the bunker. And now bunker's full. So that's good. It's going to take a while to mine all the minerals. Unfortunately, um, those two points are quite far apart on the map. Uh, is there Vespian guys are over here? Yes, but it's a di bit difficult to access. I uh, should build a missile turret somewhere to help secure this place. Uh, okay, that looks like a reasonable place to put it. Or at least it fits there. Uh, do I have supply? I've got 30... I'm consuming 39 supply of 44. Um, so I'm going to need more supply pretty soon here. Okay. I do intend to build siege tanks once I have enough resources, but this is going to take a while, actually. I thought I would have mined all this already. It's like... Hmm. Okay, you two go get some Vespine gas. Um, okay, now oh, job's finished. We're gonna build us a bunker. 
I guess right above the lip of this um, area. Being very careful not to provoke our northern Zerg friends here. You want a piece of me, boy? Okay. And we need to set a rally point to um, bunker. Here you go to the bunker. It's a lovely bunker, isn't it? We're going to need another one. Two bunkers and eight infantry should be enough to oppose most things that this game's going to throw at me. At least in this mode. Um, wait. I forget what the key is to do these things. This is M for Marine. Okay, so we got six Marines. I'm sorry, five in Q. Alright, we need one more. There we go. Um, man, this is the slowest expansion, attack, whatever thing I've done. Um, it's very, very slow and deliberate. My brother-in-law played a lot of this game. Hmm. I assume almost everything that people have done with this game has been online from... At least that's my impression. Okay, so this... Oh, shit, we're out of supply. Um, here, you go build us a supply depot. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, we need this place to set the rally point now to our other bunker, which is right over here. You are going to build us one more missile turret. Um, with the dual purpose of um, blockading this aisle and um, making it difficult for a surprise attack to catch us completely off guard. Um, arguably, I should have turrets in the middle of this base, but there's only like, I don't know, 6,000 minerals, 10,000 minerals, something there. That base isn't going to last forever, and then I'm going to lift off and move over to wherever the geyser is that we found last time. Job's finished. What job would that be? Would that be our supp Oh, that would be the supply depot. Supply depot is what? S? Yeah. Um, build us one more. Okay. No need to build more SCVs. Yeah, I think we're good on SCVs. Whoops. Okay. Um, we acquired an academy to build more fun stuff. How are we doing on minerals? Okay, we're actually harvesting this at a pretty good rate. So... And we have a decent number of Vespian gas. Um, let's start building some tanks. We need vulture removal? Vultures, siege tank ability, siege. Hmm... Seems a bit of a waste to use a siege tank ability immediately. Or rather, to burn 150 minerals and such right off the bat. But, I have collected a ton of minerals, so... Okay. Um, you guys lurk in the bunker here. Okay, we got that under control. Good. Base is under attack, you say? Barely even noticed it. Doing a lot better this time. Now, the next thing I need to do, other than building another and another and another bunker, um, be build one more missile turret that's just like way up here. 
big obvious target that um, foes are going to target instead of hitting the real target. Um, oh wait, we're saying we need various structures to build other structures. So we need a science fis wait, what do we need? We need an academy to get a commsat station. Alright, so let's build an academy. Damn it. Wait, what's all this? Oh, that's not our blood. Okay. Not our blood. Less to worry about there. All's well and good. Research complete. This research is complete too. Level 2 here required what? Science facility. Alright, maybe we build a science facility soon. Um, yeah, nuclear silo also requires a science facility. Um, can I over here build an add-on? Is there room for an add-on? Oh, I can't even experiment with whether or not there is room because I don't have the tech tree to do that. I just wanted to just measure out whether or not it would have fit, but apparently I can't do that. Okay, drop ship. Kind of important cargo in this drop ship. Um. Okay. And unload all right here. And why don't you just go hang out over there? I still haven't figured out exactly what I'm doing with all this, but um, I mean, siege mode only makes sense when there's some building within striking range, and there is not here. Even if we moved up infantry right next to there. Um. Hmm. Here, let's go back to tank mode and set up over here or something. I want to just. I'm trying to figure out. Tanks can shoot on the ground as long as they're not in siege mode. So, yeah, if I have them hold position there, that'll be cool. Um, Alright, uh, I was saying I should build a science facility, which requires a starport. Um, do I need a science Yeah, I need a science facility with an attached covert ops. So, I guess that means we've got to build a starport. Oops, never mind. Um... Here, you go mine some minerals or something. You're going to go build us a starport. Which is a nice wide target, again, for foes that should be attacking things that attack them instead of attacking the starport. Um, buildings can take a lot of damage. Oh, this here suggests I should build a science facility to improve that tech, but I think I'm good there. Um, yeah, no need to upgrade what's already upgraded. Uh, another missile turret might not hurt. Um, I guess we'll stick it in the middle of the base or something? I'm kind of afraid of a westward attack, so maybe down here. Not too far from the bunker, but not in the path of the supply line. Okay. How's this going? Okay, we're going to need more supply depots soon. Um, what else? It seems we're doing fine. We haven't harvested all of this yet, although it's coming along pretty smoothly. Um, 
as that progresses even further, then I should scout and go find our Vespian geyser over there. Um, let's see, we can actually afford a couple more siege tanks. Uh, we'll have the siege tanks all rally around um, this point. Are the miners unionized? Gosh, I hope so. For their own sake. It seems like a risky job. Although, who really would oppose... Um, okay, so we're going to build a science facility. Increase the mar marine attack shell range. It's useful. Oh. Just kidding. Uh, we're going to build this 150 Vespine gas. Alright. We'll just have the one guy... Oh, they're all lining up there. Never mind. Okay. So we'll have 150 pretty soon. <sighs> Come on. 148. 156. Okay, cool. But yeah, I was going to say, what kind of corporation could possibly exploit them from this distance? And what's a control tower good for? I don't remember. Yeah, need a drop... Uh, let's see. Hmm... Oh, Control Tower allows us to upgrade raids. But I'm not considering an airstrike. Well, um, air units are useful. Con attached Control Tower and a science facility with an attached physics lab. Well, okay, we'll get to that eventually. But no need to press too far with the starport just yet. Okay. Um, alright, Covert Ops, uh, yeah, we're gonna build the Covert Ops right there, um, we build a scanner, even though that's somewhat in the way of the supply line, but oh well, what can you do? Alright. Oh wow! That was efficient. Yeah, I'm trying not to trigger the Zerg too badly, but they do get triggered spooked pretty easily. Um... Okay... Nice. So then this allows us to scan over this away, somewhere around here. So yeah, we get... And our mission objective is to destroy all of that, right? Destroy the Protoss force. Kerrigan must survive. All Zerg buildings must survive. Seems kind of a tall order, but we can do it. Um, go back to mining. Lockdown. Uh, ocular. Oh. That's cool. That's actually going to be really beneficial if I have Kerrigan moving along with the tanks. I'm ready. Here, you go cloak and walk your way over to where our tanks are at. I only cloak because we've got time. We have got so much time to cloak and do things one step at a time. Okay, science vessels are kind of cool, although I'm not familiar with their use. Oh, never mind. I don't need to upgrade that immediately anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, Kerrigan I should have kept an eye on. Where'd she go? She couldn't have made it there already. That was pretty careless of me. 
Where's Kerrigan? It's like, where's Waldo? Um. There you are. I sent that guy to go repair our bunkers and stuff, but we took the lightest damage ever. Um. Alright, so now we need infantry to go move along with Kerrigan and stuff. Uh, but we're out of supply depots. We're out of supply. So we need more supply depots before we can push. Um, let's stick a supply depot right in front. And I guess we'll just be building a ton of those. Uh, these are actually kind of useful where they're at. So they shouldn't be necessary. Yeah, these guys have pretty light plating. I'd have to upgrade all the plating of these for the that for us to be useful to move the vultures forward. Instead, I'm just going to go with tanks and infantry. Um, so we got six tanks. We don't have that many. Um, oh, we could train more ghosts. I forgot ghosts were a thing we could actually train here. That said, marines are pretty awesome. Okay, so we're going to set a rally point for this here turret. Uh, arguably, I should have just moved the barracks this way. But um, it's my north base that's the one worth defending. Um, also, I'm not going to build a nuclear silo just yet, because I don't need to. Okay, so Kerrigan, go over this way, go discover that this area to the right is relatively safe, but not easy to defend. Yeah, and so, like, way out this way, there are some Protoss. We are cloaked, right? Yeah. Go figure it's the same key to cloak and decloak. It's the C key. That seems like poor choice of key shortcuts. Alright. Yeah. Alright, do have fun with that. Zug streams are always excellent. Oh! Oh, this is how it all connects. Oh my goodness, I did not see that this was a loop here. This would explain why there were so many skirmishes that just came out of nowhere and devastated me. Um, because our, uh, our non-friends to the east here... Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. Jeez. How did I miss that earlier? That would explain why how all these surprise attacks were so effective. Um, you are group one. You Kerrigan, by yourself, are our first group. See if I could at least take that little lip there. In the name of whatever, in the name of the Terrans, uh, that'd be lovely. Oh shit. Really? There's a whole bunch of these guys here? Show me just what's going on here. How far does this platform go? So we're going to take down a few more of these guys. Um, wait. 
that's 119, right? So yeah, I've got plenty of time. Shoot these guys down. There we go, and then this zealot. It's unfortunate that the AI has such a predictable movement pattern. Um, okay, so go back home, Kerrigan. Base is under attack. That's not this base. Well, actually, it is this base. But, again, we did an excellent job defending it. Go us. Um, Alright, decloak. Just hang out right there. We're going to do another sweep. Catch what's uh, going on over here-ish. Not a whole lot, but we did find there's the path. Um... Uh, so it was cool that we found how this map connects to itself. Um, let's see, where's our SCVs? Here, you go fix that structure. You can come back here and mine minerals. Um, oh. Okay, that selects all the tanks, but that's okay. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that didn't quite go exactly as planned. Um. I wonder why those guys decided to target me all of a sudden over here. I don't get it. Just when I decide to get up and move, and they decide to launch an attack on my base. Um. Right. What was it? I was saying that I was going to strike with infantry and with tanks. Although I don't have anything to upgrade my tank plating. What was the thing you used to upgrade that again? Is that an engineering bay? Because we have one of those. No. Uh, an armory. Armory would upgrade a tank's plating. So let's put an armory down there. Um... Yeah, I've discovered in recent playthrough, although recent is kind of a relative term here. Um, hmm, hang on. That combinations of siege tanks and infantry are just ridiculously strong. And it makes sense thematically. Um, that you'd want units that are light, lighter weight and units that are heavier weight with larger range to cooperate and advance in tandem. Um, Ghost Energy... Hmm. That could buy me some time. I don't think I need it, though. Uh, lockdown. Oh, Lockdown is cool, but that's expensive. Personal Cloaking. And personnel cloaking, and then there's Mobius Reactor to increase ghost energy for cloaking. I think I'm okay, though. Alright, and we do need to keep harvesting stuff. Finally making a dent in that mineral field. Um, and the other one. Okay, science vessels are cool, but really complicated to use, and I don't feel like using it right now. When I can just advance tanks and stuff. Um, Goliaths are pretty awesome, too. Let's build a couple Goliaths and march them on down this way. Um, actually, let's set the rally point right in front of that. And you go back to harvesting stuff, and you 
Vehicle plating and ship plating. Yeah, let's upgrade vehicle plating so my tanks don't take such a beating. Um, and then we'll upgrade vehicle weapons. Um, Actually, let's build a ton of those, too. Okay. Wait, are you damaged? Why are you damaged? Alright, how many of these do we have? Um, four of you guys go move back over this way. Two tanks is all we... Oh, shit. That's why. That's what's going on. These guys are not pathfinding very efficiently. Or rather, they're not finding the safest paths. Alright, so we need more supply depots, eh? Uh, that's actually a good sign. It says I'm doing something right. Although, it says I'm also not proceeding with this as nearly as efficiently as I can. Um, so we'll put a supply depot square in the path of potential invaders uh, somewhere around here. Whatever. Alright. Cool. So you guys are all going to hold your positions here. That's going to be more than adequate. Uh, we have Goliaths. Alright, how's this armory going? Uh, how are all our weapons and such upgrading going? Infantry armor or weapons three will get armor two. Um, yeah, we've built like everything here, but because we're not taking hits, um, um, this is fairly inexpensive for us. Let's see. Uh, build us another supply depot. I don't know. I guess they are. Sure, why not? Alright. Now, what did I set as my rally point for the Goliaths? Let's just set everything to go to the armory. Alright, so if I build up a platoon of um, four infantry, four goliaths, four tanks. Yes, sir. Yeah, that'll be 12 units in total. Order, sir. You are group two. Group one is Kerrigan, who's just having a nice day, honestly. And that's good. Um, okay, we'll make Carrot. Uh, Kerrigan's somebody I can't lose. Or can't lose visibility to. Okay, you're group two. Now... Oh, I see. We only have one... Okay, we're gonna build those up. Um... This is cool. I think that'll be effective. So if I move all of them and have Kerrigan backing them up, that'll be quite strong. Um, I don't need all these things. Okay, vehicle weapons will be an excellent addition. No sense having vehicles without weapons, right? Now, it's my understanding that Goliaths... Well, I'm sorry, that ships refers to things that you would normally think of as a ship, like a starship. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this, guys? You can't seriously be picking a fight with my guys, right? Okay, how's Squad 2 doing? Apparently I did something not so bright somewhere. Um. Oh, he's stuck. Go fix the guy up. Um, but yeah, overall we fared excellently in that combat. Where are all of our... Well, we may have lost some marines. They're a little trickier to keep track of, I guess. Um, wait, are you not repairing, dude? There we go. That's more like it. Teamwork, guys. Um... So we've got that on the way. Any other research? Um, I think we're good. Oh. Uh, is my rally point still borked? Alright, so... I guess that's cool. Um, yeah, my mistake at all the guys going to the wrong place. All right, uh, so that's good. Um, just a little bit of disorganization in my ranks, but that's all my fault. Base is under attack. Really? Wait. Repair the damn thing. Um. Base is under attack. That's more like it. Well, we almost lost a building through clumsiness. Um, Alright, so... Oh, shit. Okay. That was exciting. This game always throws you a curveball. Always the curveball. Alright, so. Squad 2. Huh. Okay, this is more than we needed, but it will certainly suffice. You're group three, so you've got group two, group three, group one. Okay. Here we go. Did she go? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna take the high ground. Oh boy. Spook them a bit. But yeah, I want this territory here. And once I've secured it a bit, then we'll worry about pushing in a more structured fashion. So, yeah. Okay. Nice. We got this whole area secured then. Um, okay, so you can decloak and hang out here and stuff. Um, okay, cool. And I guess I'll send one SCV out this way. Oh, one of these guys took damage too, so he'll step this way. Okay. Um, vehicle plating, ship weapons. Okay, vehicle weapons seems reasonable. Yeah, once we have tanks that can blast a hole in anything. Um, and infantry with weapons and armor to match. Um, that'll be a good day. Oh, we've almost completely mined that, too. Okay. Had no idea that was moving along so quickly. Um, nice. Alright, so. Yes, sir. Orders, Captain. I'm permanent. Go ahead, Jack. I'm waiting on you. Yeah, you're waiting on me. Ain't that the truth? Alright, a lot of stuff over here. That just prevents me from just going in directly with just a ghost. Um. Let's see. Yes, Squad two. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Order, sir. Absolutely. Commander, go, go, go. Let's move. Shit. Okay. Took some hits. Okay, back to positions. Um Sit still. Okay. 
Alright, you've taken some damage. I want to put some missile turrets up somewhere around here, just so I can see the guys before they hit me. Um, actually, missile turrets won't do anything to hurt ground units, now will they? And I can't just go putting bunkers everywhere. Our bunkers intact, our detectors are intact, this is all good. Okay. Um I'm gonna build a missile turret anyway, even though it seems ill advised given what we do know. It provides a more obvious target than my forces. Really? You're able to trace that thing. How'd you figure out where it went? Oh. Okay. That's good. Okay, we're gonna build ourselves a little Vespian Geyser here. I'm not even sure I need it. I'm sorry, I need a refinery. That's the Terran thing. Um, it is a Terran structure that can go on a building there, so that's cool. So wait for that patch to exhaust, and then we'll move over. Um, and do a little bit of construction. Alright, so that's going to actually take a while to deplete. Um, or exhaust. So, let's see, we have a little ramp here remastered. No, this is actually not the remastered edition. This is the original edition that um, Blizzard decided to make publicly available. I do not have the remastered edition. Maybe if I beat the original, we'll consider. Um, this is... So what, made, what Blizzard made available is the Brood War edition of the game. Um, I'm confused as to why, other than it has popular online play. Uh, Alright, so now you guys stay put, stay put. Everybody, keep your pants on. <sighs> guys. Oh, I built a bunker. I did something kind of intelligent accidentally. Alright, so we'll call this group two. Yes, sir. Yeah, these guys actually do something clever, but not really, with pathfinding. And that if they can't reach a destination, they'll go like all the way to the most re to the remote most remote corners of the map to try to find their paths. Um, which is intelligent. It is a star pathfinding but it's just not the desired effect in this case. Oh shit. Retreat! 
Retreat, retreat, retreat. Attack. Hold position. Alright. Where is our damaged unit? There it is. Okay. Destination. Okay, this guy was damaged too, so let's go repair it. Put our move all our tanks forward a touch. Okay, so hold this position. You guys hold your position. Tanks. Oh, I'm sorry. SCV stand over here. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize the bunker was in need of repair. Tanks, step forward a touch. Nice. Hold position. Everybody hold that position. Arguably, against anything other than air forces, this is quite strong. Let's build something to fortify us against airstrikes. Not that that's necessary, but, you know, it's kind of a good gesture. Your control. Your group one. You guys are group two. You're still damaged. Oh well. Wait until this is built and then we'll go fix things. You're gonna be group three, Mr. SCV. Now if we we have mined this all. Alright, so let's lift off. And then um let's see, do I have a commsat station already? I don't remember. Get back here. Everybody follow that building. It's going to take a minute or two to get where it needs to go, but that's okay. Um, nice. Build a turret next to the bunker. Yep, we did it. We done it, guys. Alright, so... This SCV has seen plenty of combat. Let's swap him with somebody else who's um, not seen so much combat. Alright, now I could go down this path and try to do whatever provocation makes sense. Not quite feeling that right now. Um, I want to upgrade some stuff first. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Do one more scan before I lift off again. That's kind of useful info. Can we afford another scan? Yeah, nice. How many scans do we have left here? I don't remember, but given that we're moving the base, there's no harm in rescanning things. Because this commsat station's not going to work once we lift off. Uh. So we're going to build a silo. Well, no. But no, we are going to at least land right next to the station there. Um, nice. Okay, so... Oops, you could probably devote one of these guys here to fixing this. Um... Yeah, making sure these buildings don't fall down might be useful. Um, let's upgrade our vehicle plating. Do us our engineering bay. How's our engineering bay going? Infantry armor. Well, I suppose we could use some armor. 
Um, okay. Uh, what do I want to do with these guys? I don't actually have anything too vulnerable. Huh. Okay, I guess we'll just hang out here. Um... Alright. Oh shit. Base is under attack. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this was not so coordinated of me, now was it? Um, having a bunker near this might not be a terrible idea. Bunkers cannot lift off. One unfortunate little fact. Fact, rather. Really? <sighs> Guys. It's unfortunate we had to take some losses there to secure the spot. Um, where'd my vultures go? Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go hang out over here. Um, hold that position. Um. Okay, so I was thinking I could have a couple more guys. Well, no, this line's already quite full, actually. Um, where are these guys going to do then? I don't know. No, just hang out down here. Okay, these guys are holding their position. Um. So we could build a nuke silo, but that's not entirely in keeping with the rest of my strategy here, which is just build tons of really powerful units and hope that they don't have the correct things to counter them. Oh, whoa. Whoa, didn't we have... Okay, we do have our full complement of units. No, we don't. Our SCV. Okay, that's what we were gonna do. This SCV is gonna go join these. Shit, you guys go. Don't go down. Man, pathfinding on small terrain is challenging. Okay, you guys are group two. Oh, there's my... Okay, I didn't lose that guy. Tanks are mildly damaged. Um, oh, good. We're able to isolate our injured dudes. Like, 
clockwise. This guy can go up that way, and we can go repair all the injured units. Um, a second bunker might not be terrible, but it's kind of a waste. Yeah. I think I did... Do I have siege mode? Let's see. I knew I intended to get siege mode at some point. Also, now we finally got armor. Armor's a good thing. Um... Wait, I could just click on any tank to figure out if I have siege mode. That would tell me faster than trying everything. Yeah, I do have siege mode. As I should. But yeah, that's the point, is that I was going to slowly advance down here and lay waste to everything with siege mode. Um, assuming that I can secure my tanks properly. Um, and having more tanks actually isn't going to help with that, now is it? I mean, it might, but it's not an ideal answer. How many tanks do I have being produced right now? Two more? Okay. So, let's move all these tanks and vultures and stuff down here. Wait. Don't I have another unit somewhere in this vicinity? There's 12. Okay. Where's my SCV? Oh, shit. Really? Hold position. I'm just trying to repair my damn units, you know? It's like every time I walk across the map, it triggers some kind of event, and more stuff comes my way. Um... Yeah, having everybody in a single file line is not an ideal attacking formation, because we're not back in, like, dealing with phalanxes and stuff. Um, yeah, tanks using siege mode have a larger range, but does siege mode target ground units? Yeah, it targets buildings for sure, but I don't know if it can be used to... Well, tanks can't assault infantry, I don't think. They're just not effective at that. Uh, um, okay, so I was just trying to figure out if my group 2 actually includes the SCV. The SCV is going to be group 4 all by itself. So I've macroed 1's Kerrigan, 2's this cluster, 3's that cluster, 4 is our SCV. Clever pathfinding there. Okay. Our detectors are up. Okay, so that's all well and good. I've actually properly secured this little area, so these two tanks are just gonna hang out there. Nice. Okay, so Kira can step over there for a second, so we can fix this. This has a parasite detected, but what can you do? Um, tanks in siege mode do destroy infantry. Oh, that is excellent information. Okay, everybody clump over here. And siege mode activate. Wait. Gosh darn it. Oh, you guys. I'm not trying to pick a fight with you. Just... If you could leave me be in peace, I'd leave you guys be in peace. But that appears not to be happening. Um... Okay, that is depleted, but still useful. Um, yeah, I think I've got stuff secured pretty well at this point. Okay, 
Okay, so I've put all my tanks down there into siege mode, which, um, which means I can move all the, well, these guys have long range firing, um, Really? Can we not get a break here? Do I really need to stick another tank on this map? Um, where's my two tanks that are just hanging out somewhere? Here, you go back up here. We don't need this many tanks securing this. We still have one tank down there, that's enough. Um... Turret's still holding together in one piece. Okay... Where's that tank I sent moving across the map? Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, yeah, it's taking a long route. There is no short route. Shit. Really, guys? Oh my goodness. Base is under attack. Report for duty. Roger that. I don't even want to use that structure, but I don't want to let it go either. Okay, it's unable to attack air units. <sighs> Jeez. Oh wow, we're gonna need all that repair. Did I not have a turret somewhere down there. Well, I don't need to perfectly secure everything, but, um, Wraith awaiting launch orders, you said, right? Um, yeah, just hang out up here. If somebody tries to do anything too dumb, pull them over toward my other guys. Um, uh, is this all intact? Yes. Stick a damn turret somewhere around here. Yeah, tanks can't hit air units. That's kind of a problem. Okay, so... Every time I, like, step one step forward here, computer launches a whole bunch of stuff at me. Gives me too much to be concerned about. Um... Alright, so, yeah, just get moving along this way. Don't trigger our Zerg friends, just leave them be. Yeah, I think I need to walk the infantry um, along with the tanks, but that's the idea. position and go into siege mode. Um, okay. This is all fixed up. I 
think I've got everything upgraded to a point where our Protoss friends aren't going to mess with me too badly. Um, also, I've harvested way more than I need to, but... Okay, that's the price of being indecisive here. Okay... Wait, have I fully upgraded all my vehicle plating and stuff? No, my armory is still... Yeah, we need to at least have level 2 vehicle plating. Yeah, the Goliaths there should handle air units. Um, I'm just tired of having... Like, I've used to play this game a long time ago. Um, used to is a much stronger term than I meant to say, but I did play this game before. I have streamed it before. And my tanks just kept constantly getting ripped up. Um... Nope, nope, nope. That's better. Alright. That's cool. So. We'll call that group one. We'll call all this stuff... I'm sorry, that's two and three. Kerrigan's one. Two's our tanks. Three's all our infantry and other stuff. Um, yeah, I actually moved my base, so I'm not able to scan at present. Um, though, given that we've depleted the geyser, it would not hurt for me to move the base back. Let's do that. fix our tank first. Um, I'm going to lift off this and land it right back next to that. Nope, guys. Patience. 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 Wait. No, they're not able to return things while the base is still lifted off like that. Really? Could you please just not... Oh, this base is under attack. Where? Oh, it was under attack. Um. So, I wonder if that's just happening as a function of me doing so many vehicle upgrades and stuff. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I should scan as I walk forward. That's the point. Duh. So, we'll call... Station 4. Okay, everybody's in good spirits. Um, how's our armory doing? Oh, hang on. How's our armory doing? Yeah, bunkers should easily handle any of that. You're right. Um, it shouldn't be a challenge, and yet somehow because I haven't fully upgraded my... Well, I don't need to fully upgrade, but having level 2 weapons and level 2 armor is probably a positive thing. I'm taking this a lot more patiently 
um, than many people, just because I've had so many negative experiences playing the game. And I'm aiming to have a positive experience today. But, yeah, you're right, there's definitely way more aggressive ways to go about this. Um, which are more efficient and more fun, once you get the hang of it. I'm just trying to be extremely cautious so I don't have a negative experience again. But I'm being, obviously, much too much of a chicken to be entertaining. Yeah, I've actually tried it on Battle.net before. I think I have a perfect loss record. I don't know how, but... I mean, I kind of know how. It's that... Um, I've even tried playing simpler games, like Pikmin. And I think... Maybe once I get the hang of Pikmin, then maybe I'll try something more aggressive here, like Battle.net. But... Um, Pikmin's not that hard of a game. It's just, I don't like the idea of losing my units. And that kind of happens a lot. Um, okay, so we got the station. I think tons of things are upgraded. Okay. So this is cool. Are these guys in... No, they're not in tank mode. They're in siege mode. Um, these guys are quite disorganized, so let's regroup our ranks back up here. Okay, we'll hold that position. These guys step up just a touch. Nope, over this way. You guys do better pathfinding, please. Okay, I guess you're stuck behind this guy. This guy's stuck because of these guys. Okay, hold these positions. Uh, there we go. Hold that position. And you guys... Oh. Is it Kerrigan who's in the way? Um. Okay. Uh, let's see, can I get this? Okay. I'm just trying to do something you should never do with these units. Um. Hold position there. You never group your guys together like this in a battle net game. Um, never, never, never. But I happen to strongly suspect that my opponent's not going to take advantage of my mistake. I heard something exploding. Okay, so this is cool. Alright. Everything's good there. Okay, that's cool. So now, um, oh, our tank's dinged up a bit. Here, you go fix the tank. Okay, that didn't take long. And our tank there. Go into siege mode, just in case. Okay. Next. Move the marines next to the barracks. Move the marines next to the barracks. You're saying take the marines that are next to the barracks and move them. Or move the marines next to where the barracks is at, which doesn't make much... that's an engineering bay. Oh, where'd my barracks go? Here's my barracks. Um... The tank... yeah, right, no, I'm not intending to push with everybody all at once, even though that's the most logical next step. 
I'm gonna do something far less, far more cowardly, far less risky. And just cloak Kerrigan. Whoa, 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 what? What the crap did you guys all just fire at? What's going on? Did my siege mode thing there trigger something? Huh, I didn't realize just how vulnerable this point here was. Um. Oh, never mind. Still. Really? Come on. Can I not catch a break? Can I not catch a break? Do I have a wraith here somewhere? What the crap is Kerrigan? Decloak. Deal with that later. Oh, I actually do have the money to make battle cruisers. Although I've not upgraded ship plating yet, so that ship would fall to pieces very quickly. Um, but yeah, I've got the money for battle cruisers. Let's. Um, hmm. Yeah, rays aren't good at air to air combat, they're better for air versus ground. Let's cancel that, actually. I'm more interested in having ships that don't fall apart um, than anything else. Alright. Yeah, I can easily afford an air fleet. Uh, you get back down here, hold position. Where did my SCV defect to? Yes, sir. Where is my SCV? <sighs> there he is. Yes, He's stuck. Um, He's still stuck, maybe? Yeah, shoot. I need to move all these guys out of the way. So their SCV can be free to fix this thing. Oh, I do have another turret right there. Okay, and Marines stand here. Hold that nice little position. Step forward just a touch there. You step here. You step here. Whatever. I'm trying to get these guys as close as possible to this lip without putting them in front of the bunker. Alright. Alright, so that's in one piece. For my own sanity, for the ease of this mission, I'm going to build a turret. Right... Well, I can't build it where I want to build it. Uh, I can easily afford it, but I don't have any place to put it. That's the challenge. Um... Got a turret here, we got a turret there. 
Air forces could still take me apart right through the middle. Or they could provide to be quite a nuisance. So let's stick something somewhere around here. Just to make this easier to hold. Oh. Yeah. Here, let's actually put a turret somewhere a little more aggressive. Like, right there. Can we get over there? No. Also, when all these guys flash, there's not even a target for them to strike at. But somehow they know. Okay. Step out of the way. So that our little SCV friend can get through. Okay, I've got all my units bunched too tightly together. Can you weave your way through this now? Okay, I guess that's about as close as they can get. Okay. Three, hold position. Four is our commsat station. One would be... Alright. Build a turret somewhere around here. Please? All right. That's going to be a fairly obvious target for them to strike at. But you got all these tanks in siege mode backing all this up. Going across this freaking bridge is going to be a mess. Save enough crystals for an air fleet. Yeah. Okay, one more turret to try to hold this point. Only because I suspect I will have to retreat through this at some point. Yeah, you're right, scans are free. Um, so... My next big plan ploy thing here is going to be take all my units, walk them into this tiny little gap here. Or rather, on this end of the bridge. Oh, come on, guys. Did I really make it not passable here? Interesting. Alright, I guess I need to move my tanks. Just a touch to the side. Hold that position. Back to tank mode. See how close we can get. Oh, nice. Excellent. Target. Destination. 
Oh, well spotted. Okay, um, yeah, how the crap did they get over there? Or are these the guys that were up here to begin with? I mean, yeah, you're saying scans are free. They definitely are. Uh, I'm suspecting those were the units that were there at the start of the game. Um, or at the start of this map. Okay. I'm gonna get our dropship over ahead, here just because I'm super clumsy. I copy that. In the five, 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 five. Okay, that's not going through anywhere stupid. So that's good. Um Strap yourself in, boys. Our dropship knows something that we don't know about Kerrigan. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to go up and do a little recon. Figure out what's going on here. Um thinking the same thing. It'd be a pleasure. I gotcha. So potentially this would be an occasion for me to send up a wraith. And lure all the guys into the bridge. It'd be a pleasure. I gotcha. Okay. I mean, yeah, they could be dropping units to get them there. That's a possibility. I gotcha. Thinking the same thing. It'd be a pleasure. I'm listening. Grab yourself in, boys. In transit, thank you. I'm listening. I'm waiting on you. Stand right here, don't get killed. Um. build another missile turret just so we can detect enemy units that come into our vicinity. Um, although I have a scanner right there so if I have my wits about me I can react quickly and not have to worry but let's be real. Um, I'm not always going to have my wits about me. I'd rather focus on one thing at a time here. Um, yeah, cannons can detect Kerrigan, so I can't exactly move Kerrigan into the base, but second best thing, second best thing would be um, start building some ships and doing awesome things with the ships. Which doesn't entirely make sense if our ships have no plating and no weapons. Um, really? Okay. Um, so... 
Do I want more plating or do I want weapons? That's what I'm trying to decide. I want plating because I want to send some wraiths. Where are my wraiths? Here's a wraith. He doesn't have cloaking. That's okay. I understand it's not good at air-to-air -air combat, but... I'm going to scout this little area here. Make sure there's nothing... Oh, there is a thing there. Uh, is there anything else? Take me to your leader. Assuming there is stuff up here. Run, 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 run. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, so there's stuff up here. Oh, I have a scanner. I know how to scan, maybe. Okay. This is what's been hurting me throughout the game. Not to my knowledge. Um, jeez! Okay! could have told me about this one, man. I mean, yes, I've been picking off these things one by one the entire game, but... Okay. That's what I'm up against. I thought this was all Zerg territory. Okay, well... At least now I know it's... presenting that repeated challenge. Just like I saw, the north and the west corners of this map were all Zerg. So I figured, well, surely the northeast corner must also be a Zerg thing. Um, that's not the case. Our Protoss have taken up two bases. Um, okay. Well, gosh, and this one up here is so much easier to take down with tanks than the other one is. The other one, we have to go across this frickin' bridge. This one, we could just go up here, place the tanks, walk up, and shoot everything. Um, so I got a few Dragoons. A couple tanks in siege mode. Should, yeah, right. All the Dragoons... Um, yeah. I hear what you're saying. I'm trying to figure the most logical way to go about this. Now that I know that there's this additional battle line and all these other units to worry about. Actually, this... Uh, it's too bad there's so many detectors around here, or I just send Kerrigan down and nuke the area. Because all these things are so closely placed next to each other. But, um... That's... It's just a whole bunch of buildings. The most scary of which is their starport. But the rest of this is just a base. It's not doing anything. Um, other than occasionally being a total pain in the butt. Uh, so I'm going to go back to plan A, which was have a wraith. Just be a complete jerk to... Um, okay, let's build some more wraiths. Let's see, dropship press. Touch one. Requires an attached control tower and a science facility with a physics lab. If we really wanted a battle cruiser, and I'm not sure that we do, we could do that. Um, Additional supply depots required. <laughs> okay. Uh, build a supply depot. Put it right there. Right in the middle of the bridge. Um, so I was going to say let's wait for weapons and armor plating and stuff to upgrade, but it seems like that's going to be done pretty shortly here. So group 5 is going to be this wraith. And we're just going to ignore that quadrant to the board. And instead, 
and lure these guys out of the southern base. Start up another upgrade while we're at it. So if I can lure all their infantry out of the base, which should not be difficult to do. Except for the fact that their infantry can't shoot air units. Oops. Um, so Wraith actually isn't the right thing to lure them out. Unless they have Dragoons. Well, that's exciting. They don't have any Dragoons, it's just infantry. Um, they're gonna have to, like, shuttle guys from their northeast corner down to this base just to try to defend it. Or they'll have to send aircraft. Uh, if they're smart enough to do that. Wait, can I not aggro the guys? What's this base under attack stuff? It's all taken care of. Base is under attack. <sighs> okay. That's cool. Um, yeah, so I can't aggro the guys to move out of the base. Um reporting in. So that plan was a swing and a miss because this uh sending a wraith out there doesn't provoke their infantry to come forward and chase the wraith, but quite the opposite. Um so plan B is going to be move all these infantry units forward. Um, and I meant to include these guys among the infantry. Okay, uh, so these guys all go forward. A touch. Um... How far forward can I step to make room for all my tanks? That seems fine. Hold that position. Tanks go back into tank mode. And we're just gonna peacefully roll across this bridge. Um, Yeah, you're right that only his photon cannons can see my ghosted units. Not that I have rates that are ghosted. I'm just trying to lure anything that can attack my guys forward. So their ranged units get aggroed this way. Okay, so... That did not work so brilliantly. Um, okay, so just stand here. Hold that for a second. I need these tanks to be much farther. Much, much closer, rather. 
I was gonna say farther up, and I'm like, what does farther up mean? Um. No, no, no. You're way too close to their base. Uh, two tanks. Just keep stepping forward. We're not gonna have to fight for all this terrain. They're giving us this terrain for free. Right. There we go. Okay, so... This guy's hurt. I guess we'll give him a break and step one of these guys out instead. How are guys doing? This guy's a bit dinged up, so let's fix him up. Okay. No, no, no! Don't, don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay, so all these guys, group 3, group 2 is still our tanks, group 2 is still doing an excellent job. Long-awaited maneuver. Oh, that thing. Are we really fighting over this bunker? Alright, might as well keep protecting the bunker. Swiss cheese activate. Yes, sir. Orders received. 
Okay. Um, let's see. Seems as reasonable a rally point as any. Wait, what? What? What is this? Did not know that those could strike that distance. Okay. Well, good to know. Good to know. Good gravy. I thought photon cannons were anti-air units. Anyway. I mean, yes, I understand that the range of a siege tank exceeds the range of a photon cannon, but... Um... Okay. Well, that's a weird way to pathfind. It's just annoying they have to gradually roll forward like that. Micromanagement doesn't look very fun. I guess that's part of what makes this such a classic game, though, is that um, there's ways to just slightly improve upon every possible maneuver. Wait, where's... there's our SCV. Fixing up stuff. And unfortunately for them, their buildings cannot move. So... Yeah, they constantly have to dropship their guys over here. taking damage this time, and how do I deal with it? Uh, I don't have time to construct one of those. Can you not shoot that? Base is under attack. Oh, come on. What deals with that attack? Let's build a freaking turret. Right away, sir. 
So they had that little interruption, but, um, or that diversion. Let's see. Wait. Did I lose four of my tanks while that was going on? Oh my goodness, I am terrible at this game. How did I lose four of my tanks? We are going full-scale retreat mode. Ah, jeez. That's annoying. Incredible. I can't tell the difference between them attacking anything, really. It's just too much to keep track of. No, no, no. Unload. Crap is my SCV. Destination. Go ahead, Tarakon. My SCV is dead. Okay, I need another one. Very well. We can do that. I think I might have lost lots of SCVs today. Um Oops, there's my SCV. Oh, for fuck's sake, Pathfind, would you please, please, just Pathfind your way to the target for once? I, I don't know, I guess I'm not very tolerant of the Pathfinding in this game. Um... Part of what makes this game great is that it is so challenging, and that you can micro-optimize every little last thing in this game. I'm not particularly good at doing that, in case that was not obvious. Um, okay, so we're going to have a new fleet of tanks here pretty soon. Um... I did successfully take out a great chunk of uh, one of their bases. I should celebrate that victory. Um, instead, I'm concerned about, I don't know. Um, Micro-optimization's hard. Um, so, we've got tanks, we've got tanks and spades. Um, where did my, okay, oh, I, gosh, I need you to please repair the refinery, if you would, please, um, oh, this is the thing that produces the Goliaths, so if I need more Goliaths, I go there to produce them. I was so confused at looking for that. Um, 
Alright. So, we'll send a wraith out just to scout this area. See if it's been completely rebuilt by... I guess they didn't take too kindly to the idea of me destroying all their stuff. Let's take out uh, this building. Which of course means they're going to send more Dragoons this way momentarily, but... Uh, shoot. This is not going down very quickly. Okay. How's our armory doing? Let's upgrade our ship weapons to level whatever. So our ship weapons aren't awful forever. Um, yeah, that's not going down quickly at all. Alright, so... Meanwhile, we're just rebuilding our army. And as suspected, they did send a Dragoon to counter my thing. To counter my Wraith. Which is the logical counter. Um, so. At least I've still got the bridge. I haven't managed to mess that up. Lieutenant Kerrigan, please step back. It'd be a shame to lose anything more on this mission. Let's just stand there. Okay. Um. Oh, I guess I had already exhausted all our cloaking. Um. All right. So I guess once we've rolled out all our new shiny new tanks, assuming we can get past all of our own units to deploy these guys, and that might not be the case. Um, looks like this guy's pathfinding is way somewhere. Kudo A for effort on that pathfinding. So, I need to find my dropship and just airdrop these guys. Oh no! Wow, they actually are finding ways to maneuver around my units to eventually get to the target. Although they have to pathfind around all the obstacles. They're running a little obstacle course on their way to... Um, I guess they're psyching themselves up, getting ready to do something. Okay, so let's just do that. Um, if only so I'll know where my SCVs are at. Okay, so yeah, our Goliath, after running a little obstacle course around everything, they're able to find their way down to this rally point. Um, so. Wait. Um... Step to the side, sir. You guys step aside, too. Step down right this way. I don't know how some of the pathfinding works sometimes. It, it's a marvel of its day. That said, these days, people expect much different expectations of pathfinding in gaming. And it's amazing you're able to chain these guys together and say, you follow you, follow you, follow you, and just rally together. Um,
Man, this guy's all tripped out. Jesus, tiny little bridge is the death of me. And if I ever have to redo this mission, I'll go to the upper right corner first and just blast everything to shrapnel. Everything to tiny little pieces. The tiniest, most elegant, decadent pieces ever. Um, hang on. I did something I did not mean to do. I cannot identify which are the SCVs and which are the other units, so let's move our SCVs to the side for a second. Grab everything else. Group 3. Group 2 is pretty well healed up except for this guy. I have an SCV that can do that. Um, this guy would just spaz out a little bit less, maybe uh, he would get repaired a little bit faster. Maybe not. Go ahead, That's cool that he's spazzing out, though. Okay. Also, note to self, don't build a bunker in the middle of a ramp unless you're certain your opponent has very well fortified the other end of that ramp. How many times do I have to repair my units? Oh dear. Where's this guy? Oh, he's up there. Which tank is this? It's that tank. There's got to be a macro that, like, auto heals units. Or detects which units are in most need of repair. Um. Yes, sir. Too, sir. Okay. Your forces are under attack. Really? My forces are under attack. Reporting in. Oh. Vector this guy's not doing so hot. Um Standing by. Okay. <sighs> so now am I ready to go back to my original plan here, which is put everybody in freaking siege mode. Everybody else get right next to the tanks. Just make. Wait. Commander. Group 3. That's Group 4. Group 4 is the Comsat station I've not used. We're gonna make the Wraiths Group 4. Uh, where are my Wraiths? Uh, really? How many times are they going to try to occupy my space? For duty. Anyway. Um, my raids are here. This is my rally point, I don't know, somewhere like my main base. 
build a couple more, because I know these aren't going to last. They're going to be group four. Go ahead, okay, so you guys are going to be responsible for drawing fire this way. Or, alternatively, if you fail to draw a opponents toward the bridge, just blast the living stuffing out of these okay they have greater range than my air units do so you learn something every day I mean if I were to read the manual that would probably help okay so I guess I need to research uh, cloaking for ships. Where do I research this? I was really thinking this would not, I'd not need to do this because wraiths are such a tiny, insignificant aspect of my strategy. However, um, yeah, where do I go? to... Uh, I mean, I know I'm randomly clicking on everything at this point. Out of exhaustion more than out of frustration. It's not frustration, it's just being a little bit tired. But somewhere here is a building that allows me to cloak my wraiths. Or it's the science facility that I've not yet constructed. Which would kind of sort of make sense. Wait. Oh, I know how I could figure this out. Go to Wraiths. That's not a Wraith. That's not a Wraith. Where I can't see my Wraiths in here. Here we are. Research at a control tower. Okay, so we need a control tower of a starport. That's what confused me. Um, so let's go fix up our starport. Okay, that's been fixed. How's this operation going? Nary a disturbance. All right, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, I have to build this control tower and then from the control tower, research cloaking. I could also research, or construct a science vessel to knock out the shields of um, their constructions. That requires a bit of coordination, however. So... What do I do now? Um, probably the best move tell the raids to hold their position all other units hold your position tanks are ready in siege mode Kerrigan has full cloak so Kerrigan can go out here and being careful not to be detected can uh, take out the damn pylon supporting the building. I gotcha. be a pleasure. But also deal with these jerks.
which could pose a threat if not taken care of. Research complete. Yeah, these weapons quack, pack quite a punch. It takes a lot of shots, but... What now? Right, and the AI is reacting to this with a natural reaction, which is bring more ground units in this direction and things will work themselves out. Um, so once I knock that out, then there goes the starport. This is so cheesy. It's, it's cheesier than any kind of American, French, or other invention. Okay, there we go. So, Kerrigan dropped back. Did a great job here. Um, right. So, where's my SCV in all of this mess? That's. There we are. Where's my dropship? I can't see it. Here it is. We're going to unload my SCV in front of the dropship, and SCV is going to go build a missile turret, since that seems to be the prevailing strategy here, and not an entirely unsuccessful one. Um, Base still under attack. Uh, base seems to be hanging in there. Uh, seems like a decent location to put. Nice little missile turret. Um. I guess ship weapons would be a good thing if I have ships, right? Um, our wraiths here. I mean, our other wraiths here are not doing so hot either, so... Oh, but now they have cloaking. And... Yeah. Nice. Um, let's just check on the state of affairs up here. And this, yeah, it's, we're exhausting their base. The slow, tedious way that just drains every one of their resources. Um, okay. So that will hold against whatever nonsense comes this direction and tries to destroy me this time. I didn't see... And it bothers me that I didn't see what 
destroys most of my things last time. Um, Go ahead, Target designated. Nope, nope, nope. All right, we're gonna see how this goes again. Um, okay, and just for the heck of it, one, two, three, four, five with a rally point of this Goliath. Alright, so... Yes, sir! This seems like a good place to build a supply depot. Right? I'm right. She got 250 cloak again? Yes, she does. Alright, so she can walk up. Well, this isn't going to be entirely successful because. Um, yes, she does have extended vision. Um, Okay, note to self, next time, purchase ghosts. I know it's an investment, but it would make this part so much faster. There we go. So we've taken down this base at last.
Okay. I will watch out for that then. Be careful not to damage my own units with splash damage. Um. It looks like we're losing the little thing there. Alright, so the guys finally took out my little bunker on the ramp. Oh well. Um, I can always build another one, but not that that's a good place for a bunker anyway. Um. Alright. I think that bunker on the ramp has served its purpose. I hope you're proud of yourself, little dragoon, for dealing what damage you dealt. There we go. Base is under attack. Okay. We eliminated all this, yes. So that's base, that's one base of two down. I somehow still lost a tank. I had six tanks, I'm down to five tanks, I have no idea how. Okay, so that's half the battle. Possibly the most, more difficult half. We'll see. Okay. Really? Oh, he's actually taking some hits too. All right. Um, go fix up our stuff that's getting damaged while we've been on this little escapade, and then we'll move on to the other base. Okay. So, that was pretty cool. Um, 
Really? Where's this attack happening? Still? Okay. Well, that's cool. I guess... Eventually, the Zerg are gonna run out of resources, too. Um... Not that we should even need to wait for that, but... Um, so I told everybody to move out. Oh, group four is all the raids. Okay. Raids have the advantage that they move quickly. That's about it. These raids would actually do a little bit of good if I kept them on defense of duty here. Um... Okay, so lots of stuff, one detector, two detectors, it's like I should drop everything on this little precipice and then just march forward, because they don't, like you're saying, there was only like one or two dragoons guarding this whole mess. That said, I mean I kind of like there is no choke point here, though. There's no easy way for me to... Um, well, they don't have a lot of units. Um, I just really don't like fighting in an open field. It's, uh, but I do outnumber them, so what should I be afraid of? Uh, okay. So. Uh, Goliaths aren't... Well, Goliaths are okay at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Marines and fire bats are better. Um, but best would be just rolling through with something really heavy-duty. Um, let's see. What have I got? What can foot the bill that... I mean, it, tanks sound impressive, but I'm just afraid that, like, I've lost so many tanks already, and I don't even know how. I want to find something... something that's well-nigh indestructible that I could just march forward like a mutilisk. And I'm not aware of such a Terran unit. Battle cruises are pretty cool, but... They, um, yeah, they're not apt for this kind of task. I think I should just use a, um, just a complete show of force. Okay, where are we? Okay. Yeah, let's just gather everybody together here. That's my new group three. Group two is these tanks. Uh, there's no checkpoint to put the tanks on over here. Well, 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 well. I don't know. Is this too far away to launch an effective attack? Yes, I can't. I don't know. This feels like way too far away for me to just like set up in siege mode and lure them all forward. I would need to like take this platform up here. Can I drop ship guys onto that platform? Maybe. Okay.
And the damn thing is that, like, this... Well, well, well. Is everybody here? Our guy's still pathfinding. Okay, I think we got the whole party. Okay. How is it that these guys, these marines, aren't tied to any of this? I guess my marines are going to be group 4 then. I don't know how it is that they were tagging along. Um... Okay. We've successfully grabbed this little lip here. So... Now if I can find my dropship, wherever it went... Oh. Seems we got some damage, eh? So, Your are under really? Go, go, go. Step back, step back, step back, step back! Damn it! Okay. Yeah. Where did I put my dropship? Here it is. Oh. We're gonna unload on this little lip here. Please not go away from the dropship. Thank you. Okay. Set up right there. In siege mode. Four tanks should probably be enough for this. Okay, now where's Kerrigan? Thinking the same thing. Thinking the same thing. She says that she's walking the opposite direction of the dropship. Go figure. So, Kerrigan's useful because she allows me to observe this detector, this photon cannon, from all the way back here. Um, I copy that. I've kind of turned StarCraft into a turn-based game here. Thinking the same thing. Kind of. Yes, sir. 
Can we get rid of this? There we go. I think we got it, guys. I think we can declare the GG here. We got it. As long as I don't manage to lose Kerrigan somehow. At least not before the cutscene. Well, I think we've exhausted the entire mineral field on this side of the board. Alright, I think we got it, guys. So we call this GG. Surely there was an easier way, but we found a way.
she had complete confidence in our ability to get an E back. And that's the stage. Wow. Holy moly. Okay, surely anybody else playing this map would have done it three times at least as quickly. Perhaps even four times quicker. I'm not sure. We did exhaust all the minerals on the entire map. Um, yeah. But, um, for what it's worth, I found this a bit more relaxing, a little bit less stressful than when I tried to go full head-on trying to smash everything to bits all at once. Um, just the micromanagement aspect of it is very stressful, and I prefer doing it, this game in a little bit more turn-based context until I have the practice to get all the micromanagement down. Um, so thanks for bearing with me here. Um, yeah, what an adventure. How much did we build this time? We built... We killed everything, basically. Um, constructed 38 structures. No, 48 structures. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, yeah, we constructed 48 and raised 46. So basically, almost everything on the map went this game. Um, you note that at the end, our main base was getting overrun by the Zerg. That's unavoidable. That's part of what's supposed to happen on that stage. Um, it falls in line with the rest of the story, which follows. The Hammer Falls. Commander Ship Hyperion, Perimeter World... Oh, I missed that. The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minx has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Core Hall fleet from the Topsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis, receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone. You, you can't believe that. There's no telling who our turtles will screw over next. Receiving incoming Transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we still got a job to Come on. The seeds of a new empire have been sown. And if we hope to uh, meet that's you, horrible. You're making a terrible mistake. Don't be thinking to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. Oh, you've you sacrificed, sacrificed too much. Kerrigan? What's this? What's with this guy? Seriously. Uh, oh. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, so that's a really complicated situation. We're on the world Tarsonis. Jim and I are looking to escape. Um, in order to escape, we have to get, we have to deactivate, in this case, destroy the ion cannon, so that we'll be capable of escape. And we can't lose Rainer, of course. Meanwhile, Kerrigan's down there, and I don't know what the heck, um... Oh, what's his name? The Arcturus Mengsk of the Sons of Korhal. Um, I don't know what he's up to either. He's got aspirations to do something here. I... I mean, yes, we do need to escape. I don't understand how destroying the Ion Cannon is necessary for that escape, but somehow it is. Um, yeah, I don't get that. I'll have to read more about this and see if I can figure out what's going on in the plot. That said, we've been going for a few hours here. Um, I know it's the way I've been playing this has not been the most compelling way that anybody could play StarCraft. 
I know there's far more compelling ways to go through the storyline. I'm just thankful that I can actually beat this without using cheat codes. Although, Mission 10 here is quite challenging. I've attempted it numerous times without cheats, and once with a cheat, and even with cheating it took forever to get it done. I Maybe that's because I applied the cheat like two hours or an hour or something plus into the level, just struggling the entire way with it. Um, but yeah, we're going to finish this game another time. So sorry to leave us all in suspense. Um, once again, Blizzard made this game available for download in well in anticipation of their remastered release, uh, which has since been released, by the way. So you can purchase the remastered edition, which looks much more beautiful and allows you to see larger portion of the map. It's much less frustrating, but I just feel like I need to complete the original game before I can appreciate later games or even the remaster version. I really do need just as a... I don't know. For myself, I guess. I need to complete this. So, thanks for watching. It's been interesting. I've learned a number of things about units and tanks and ships uh, that I would not have expected. Um, that somehow eluded me the first time I played this game. So, we're learning. Um, sorry about the commentary. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. If not, let me know. Let me know what I can do better other than just play better. And I um, guess I'll see you next time. Take care and have a good night.